y'all I'm here with another video and today I want to read a poem so I'm going to do a little poetry the name of the poem that I'm going to do is called Let it Go after I uh, read the poem I'm going to discuss a little bit talk a little bit so uh, so I'm going to get started and read this so, uh, let go. If you love something, then you must let it go. And if it come back, it means so much more. All I know is I had to let go for me. Hell yeah, I'm a runner and a track star. Because baby girl is tired of getting scarred. Before I did let go, I know that I tried to fix everything the righteous way. I can overlook a lot of things except the fucker putting their hands on me. <laughs> yeah, I know, sorry, but not sorry. But don't nothing get straightening, but straightening. Period, Pooh. <laughs> I let go, and I was forgiven. I made sure to repent to our Heavenly Father. And I promise I have learned my lesson and understand that there are consequences. My heart still remains pure because it's built for loving and caring, but a different person when being disrespected. I let go because it was the only option I had left. I think I'm going to add a little bit more to it, but that's all I have for now. And you have to let go. Once you know forgave something, let it go. It's okay to feel that hurt and that pain and cry about things and stuff because how else we going to let it, let things go, you know what I'm saying? If we don't feel what we're feeling, you have to allow yourself to feel however you feel it in order for you to let things go. And that's okay. You know, that's very understandable. But y'all... When you're dealing with somebody or people, it don't matter. And those people are showing you things like that they don't want to be around you or they don't care for you and, and they want to hurt and harm you and stuff. Let that go. And why should you let that go, y'all? To protect you. Your feelings. And, and everything about yourself. I know it might hurt, or you might be like, I ain't ready to let that go yet. Until you are properly loved and cared for, let it go. It don't matter what it is. Let it go. You have to. If, if you in an abusive relationship, let it go. You have to. Because you have to learn how to put yourself first. That self-love is the best kind of love that you can ever receive. You have to put yourself first. You have to make yourself your first priority. Ain't nobody else going to do that. And, you know, and, and a lot of things we just have to let go. I understand we put ourselves in a lot of different situations and... We have to hold ourselves accountable for what we allowed or, you know, because we was only putting ourselves through that. Or we thought that somebody really was for us and later on down the line, you find out that that person really wasn't for you. That's okay. That just God protecting it. Probably you both. Let that go. It's not me. So it's okay to walk away from things that, that is not me. And, you know, you have to learn how to wake up in the morning. Look yourself in the mirror. Smile at yourself. Say, I'm beautiful. I'm flawless. I know we all have flaws, but still, y'all. <laughs> you know, you have to be like, um, you have to put a smile on your own face. 
if you don't have nobody else in your corner or in your life that can do that, do that for yourself. Do that for yourself. And if you got somebody that want to walk away, don't want to deal with you anymore, let go. Because the longer you hold on to something that's trying to break away, you only hurting yourself. You causing damage and construction to yourself. Can't make nobody stay know where they don't want to be or with who they don't want to be with. Things like that are okay. You have to learn how to detach from things. Just like you wanted to detach yourself from your mother's womb when you was coming out, you have to detach yourself from all these other things as well that is not meant for you, that, that wasn't supposed to be for you. Detachment. Learn how to detach yourself from people and things that cause you harm and pain. And I, I think that, like, I, I have mastered detachment. I have. I will detach myself away from anything and anybody. I think the only thing or the only people that I have not detached myself from is my children. Those are the only people that I have not detached from. Um, I've been put in a lot of situations and it, and it caused some detachments, you know, because it's like I'm trying to hold on and I'm trying to make things right and fix this so much. But I'm getting my hands bloody because this person is pulling away and, and trying to go their own way. I'm hurting myself. I'm putting wounds on my own self. Because I'm trying to hold on to something so tight that's trying to release itself. Let it go. Let it go. You just have to sometimes, you know. And, you know, whatever God uh, has ordained for you. You will have that. You will have it. And, you know, like, you can't hold on to something they don't want you to hold on to it. Don't do yourself like that. Don't do yourself like that. And, you know, And we always say, you know, I, but I want it, I want it to work, and I want this, and I want that. Sometimes what you want the most, you don't need that. Sometimes the thing that we think that we want the most are the things that we think that we can't live without. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can get over that. You most definitely can. Don't don't let nobody trick you like you can't let go. Because yes, you can. You can detach yourself from anything. You know what I'm saying? It's it's all a mind thing, pretty much. Whatever you you feed yourself, whatever you tell yourself, you know. Um, I just want everybody to be. Cautious out here. I don't. I, I can I'm not gonna say that I'm a religious person, but I do read the Bible and I do believe in the Word of the Lord. And this, the book is fulfilling itself more and more every day. You can't run from it. When he say you will have mother against daughter. And father against son and sister against brother and all of those things. It's coming to pass. You might not see it or you might not recognize it. But it's happening. It is real. And when the Lord call you. When he say come on walk with me. You have to let go. You might be like well wait Lord. Let me handle this business right right quick, like before we leave. He gonna tell you to let it go. 
let the dad handle their situation. I'm calling you. You come with me. And you let them others worry about what they need to worry about. So let go. You have to let go. You have to let the dead bury the dead. You have to let it go. You have to keep walking. And, and, and that's what it is, you know. And I'm not going to say that I'm perfect. I'm not perfect. But I love the word of the Lord. I love to read the scriptures and a lot of the things that comes from me I get it from the book the Lord calls upon me I'm pretty sure he called upon a lot of y'all too but y'all ain't ready to answer yet and you want to hold on to these other things so tightly but sometimes you have to let go of a lot of things so you can hear the Lord clearly. A lot of times he wants you to let go so you can focus on him. He wants you in your lonely place. That way he know that he has your full attention. No distractions because it's something that he got to tell you. And you got to be fully willing to, to listen to what he has to, to say. Because, y'all, it's a spiritual warfare out here. I don't care what you say or, or, or what you believe. But it's a spiritual warfare going on. And, and then you have to know the Lord is calling as many people as he need be. Or who all that he knows that are going to ride for him when it comes time to. It's so many disasters happening. It's just showing y'all, like, it speaks of it. It's coming to pass. We can't run from it. We don't know the hour, the second, the minute, nor the day. But every day that we wake up, we have to choose. Make it right with the Lord. Repent if you have to. But let go and don't keep making them same mistakes that you just repented from. Because when you know better, you do better. You know, um, and and yeah, that's that, you guys, you know. Don't let nobody treat you like you uh, you wouldn't be nothing if it wasn't for me. You wouldn't have this or that if it wasn't for me. Show that person. Oh, I'm finna let go. And I'm finna show you. That with or without you, God is going to still bless me. So learn to let go and let God. Let go and let God. Because a lot of times we be trying to do a lot of things and we forget. to say, Lord, direct me. Guide me, Lord. I have myself too. I, I have forgotten to... You know, ask the Lord to please lead me and guide me, Lord. I have. You know, but we all fall short sometimes. You can't say that you never have because we have. Them hard days don't always last. So you have to learn how to let go too and, and know that the Lord is coming. He is coming. He is coming, and we got to be ready when he do come. We got to be ready. You're not ready, he's going to make you be ready. Sorry, not sorry. Don't let get straightening, but straightening. And he's going to set some stuff straight. He's going to set a whole lot of stuff straight. Yes, he is. And I know a lot of people saying, you know, they want loyalty, but they, you know, they don't want love, they want loyalty. Y'all, how can somebody be loyal to you if they don't have love for you? How can somebody show loyalty to you 
when this person don't even care for you. You got to think about those kind of things, y'all. Y'all want to throw away love. But if you know the creator, then you know love is love. You have to love. You got to have love on y'all heart. You have to. Everything about the creator is love. Everything he designs and creates, he creates it with love. So we have to love, y'all. Please continue to love. And when some, when you know somebody is really for you, then you tell that pe that person that you want their loyalty. Are you going to be solid and loyal to me? That person got to care for you or love you in some form to show you any kind of loyalty. Because a person can be right up under you trying to show you loyalty but what is that loyalty with loyalty without love? What is it? These people, a lot of people don't know what loyalty is because they don't even understand what love is. But let go, y'all. Let go. I done had a lot of hardships. I'm pretty sure we all have, and we have to learn to let go. And let God. We have to let go. And let go. And let God. Because there will be many things in our life cycles that we will go through. There will be so many lessons, but also blessings. So we have to know when to let go it's going to be so many blessings y'all it's going to be so many lessons but we have to know when to let go of what of something in order to receive a lot of different things as well y'all When God gives you a vision, it ain't meant for nobody else to see it. It ain't meant for nobody else to feel you. It's you and him. He wants you to let go of everybody else's attention so he can have yours. That vision that he gives you is going to be so powerful. And people going to be like, well, how you come up with this? And how you doing this? And how you doing that? It's the vision of the Lord. I'm not doing this by myself. I didn't get this strength by myself. I let go of a lot of things. I had to let go of a lot of different things. Because the Lord said, if you don't let go, if you do not let go of that thing, I can't give you nothing else better. I can't give you something in replacement of, of what I'm trying to give you. Because you are holding on so strong of something that I told you to let go of. Learn to let go. He gave me a vision. And he said... Start putting together your second book. Go ahead. Don't wait. Go ahead and start typing it up. Go ahead and start putting that together. So I had to. And he told me, Daniela, just because you are a writer, I want you to verbalize. I want you to learn how to speak these words that you are writing. Because I'm going to use you. So let go of only being a writer, Daniela. Let go. Let me use you a little farther. Let me take you a little farther. It's going to be many people that are going to need your wisdom and your words. I had to let go, y'all, of being antisocial or not wanting people to approach me y'all it would just be days where it just be strangers can just walk up to me 
and these people would just start going into death about their life. And I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, why are these people feel so comfortable and so welcoming and so freely to come upon me and to start speaking to me and they know me no more than the next man or, or you know, it's a completely strangers. And they can just walk up to me and just start telling me about the things that are going on into their lives. And I had to, to ask the Lord, why, Lord? He said, Daniela, let go. Let go. Open up. Those people that I'm sending to you, because those are people that need you. They need that word. You are a person that anybody can come to and talk to because your presence they gonna feel me all over you it's going to be the ones that don't you know what i'm saying and that's okay but i'm gonna continue to let go so the lord can deliver me what he needs from me i'm not gonna say that you know, I'm going to stop doing certain things or whatever. And the Lord told me, you come as you are. Because I know that your heart is pure. I know that you are righteous. That's why I chose you. So I can show these people that you do not have to be perfect. You do not have to be religious or whatever they want you to be. To, to worship me. To listen to the calling and the anointing that I have upon your life. Y'all, when it just be you and the Lord, see, to get to that point, it's a lot of things that you have to let go of so you can hear him and his greatness and, and the vision that he's going to give you. He's going to continue to give you a vision, but you have to be willing to pay attention to what he is, is trying to call you to do. I'm going to do what he, what he needs me to do. What's your mission? We all have one. He, we all have a gift. And you have a choice. Are you going to do good with that gift that he gave you? Or are you going to do bad and evil with that gift that he gave you? I'm going to choose good. I'm going to choose righteous. I'm not perfect. I done made some mistakes out here. I'm pretty sure we all have. But at the end of the day, I still choose righteousness. I still choose to be good despite of whatever I done been through. I love the Lord. I fear the Lord. And y'all, 